Hey everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel and today I'll be doing a speed test comparison between the Moto G Stylus 5G 2023 and the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. Okay, so I decided to do this speed test based on price. You can buy these phones, you know, pretty much factory unlocked for around $200, you know, give or take a few dollars here or there. And if you're on a prepaid network, you can get them for basically free or like 20 bucks, something like that, which is honestly a really good deal in my personal opinion. But we're going to find out which phone here today is better. Now looking here at the Motorola, I like the way the Moto looks with its blue black color shift there. Just looks good. Just having little sparkles in it there that I'm not really crazy about, but it's not that noticeable. You got your dual camera set up back there on the rear. Now the Galaxy A15 has this really nice blue color here that also uh, in the light changes changes its color and everything. It looks really nice. Triple camera set up there on the rear with your flash. And it's just an overall good looking device here as well. So turning the phones around here. Both of them have side by fingerprint scanners and turns right on. No issues and no problems. So yeah. Now, temperatures are showing 37 and 47, but this church me that I'm in Washington for some reason, so I don't know why that, that is. Um, but yeah, looking here at the displays, you got a, both of them here sport a full 1080p display. You got an IPS LCD over here and a Super AMOLED over here, which is a bonus for the Samsung. But you do have a hole punch camera up here with a little teardrop notch over here, which is kind of getting played out and kind of old. But just kind of going to the settings here a little bit. You know, just going through the general settings, it's not bad. Um, you know, scrolling through here also, you can see it's pretty smooth. Not much of an issue going through there. Motorola seems a bit snappier though when you're, you're scrolling. You know, you can just see here a little bit of a hiccup right there. But honestly, uh, it's because the phone getting warmed up, I guess. And all that, all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out Geekbench 6 to see which one has the better score. Now these are screenshots because it takes forever for these tests to finish up. So I went ahead and took screenshots, already ran them beforehand. Um, but you can see the score here of 943 single core and 2724 multi core here on the Motorola. And 698 single core and 1881 multi core here on the Samsung. Now you do now you are running Android 14 on the Samsung and still on Android 13 here on the Motorola. Um, but you can see the scores there. Quite a bit of difference, so we're going to see that probably here in the performance of both of these phones. So let's just go ahead and go back home here. Let's go over here to our app open and test here. And I will show you that everything is cleared out of both phones, as you can see right there. So let's go ahead and get started in with this test, starting now. That was the Motorola. Let's go back home. Let's go into YouTube. Faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into the calculator. I think faster there on the Samsung. Let's go into the calendar. Faster there on the Samsung. Let's go to the clock. About the same there. Let's go into Amazon. And faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into eBay. Faster there once again on the Motorola. Let's go into Best Buy. And faster there on the Motorola, but something happened here again with Best Buy. It happens a lot here lately for some reason. Not really sure why, but that would have probably been the Motorola, no doubt. Let's go ahead and go into Twitter, or X, whichever you want to call it. And that was definitely the Motorola. Let's go into Instagram. And faster there on the Motorola. Let's go into Netflix. Motorola took that one there by a long shot. Let's go into Hulu. It's not pushing them at the exact same time, but the responsiveness of touch seems to be better on the Motorola over here, if you couldn't tell. Let's go ahead and go back. Come that with the Motorola once again. Let's go into the Play Store. Motorola took that one there. Let's go into Tubi TV. Okay, so there was a problem also was to be here uh, on the Samsung, but that would have been the Motorola anyway, just by the way it looked. Let's go into Dead Trigger. 
So yeah, the, the Samsung's had a few issues with some apps here and there, but yeah, that's pretty close there. Let's go ahead and push play. Now we're slightly going to the Motorola. All right, back home here. Let's go into Temple Run 2. Yeah, that responsiveness of touch is just better on the Motorola. Wow, a lot faster there on the Motorola than on the Samsung. All right, go back home. Uh, whoa, glitchy, glitchy. Let's go into Subway Server. Now it's faster there once again on the Motorola. Yeah, by a long shot. Let's go back home. Yeah, you can just see the Samsung, how glitchy. And it's just slow to touch. It's got it's slow to react a lot of times. But anyway, uh, before we before I give my finishing thoughts here, let's just kind of run back to these apps here and see what happens with RAM management. I did trigger. Well, that was all open. Let's just go back home here. It's good to go. Netflix was still open and Twitter's open. Best Buy, eBay, Amazon. Wow. Not bad for six gigs of RAM. That was really, really solid here on the Motorola. Now we'll go over here. Now also I forgot to mention this has six gigabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of RAM over here on this Samsung. So not gonna be expecting a whole lot here on the Samsung. Yep, audio reload. And for audio reloading on that, I can about go ahead and tell you we're gonna do that on yeah, it's just slow, slow to respond. Yeah, not wasting my not waste not wasting my time. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. Go Motorola. <laughs> I mean, there's no other way to put it. Go Motorola. Completely skip out here on this Samsung. Um, after using most of these phones here, you know the Samsung. It does have a better looking display. The Super AMOLED looks really good. The cameras on both of these phones here are pretty solid and getting good lighting. Um, you're not gonna have a problem with video or taking pictures with good lighting on either one of these phones. But if performance is what you want now, as far as the processors go, I forgot, I forgot to mention this earlier as well. The Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 octa-core processor over here, and you're running the MediaTek Dimensity 6100 Plus over here. So I was figuring that that processor would be more powerful than what it is, but I got to be honest when I say this is a this phone here is very it's just very choppy, it's very slow, very slow to react, and if you want a phone for around the same price, definitely go with a Motorola, much better phone. So that's all I want to say about this right here right now. The clear winner goes to the Motorola, but anyway. So inform of any way with that like button, any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new here, not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and push that bell for all post notifications and I would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.